Hi, my name is Rhonda Jones and I am the creator of the ChristianMeditator.com website and the author of a series of christ Inner Meditation and Affirmation CDs. And today I want to talk about the topic, Who is Talking Now? And this topic is pretty exciting to me. It just kind of dropped in my spirit a couple days ago during one of my quiet times with the Lord and it's really kind of made a profound effect on me on the last couple of days and so I just wanted to share it with others. Well I want to start out by saying there's three areas of conscious thought and the first area is our rational thinking and that's our problem solving thinking. It's the methodical thought that we have to figure out you know from point A to point B you know when we're we're doing a recipe when we're at work, you know, when, you know, there's something that um, we need to figure out. You know, we'll, you know, do the pros and cons and all that, and, and we'll use our rational, logical thought for those type of processes. And then there's our intuition and our gut feeling, and that's just because we know because we know. You know, there may, we may not even have a word for it or an image for it, but it just kind of drops in our spirit. It's that place where um, we really connect with God, where God really speaks to our heart. Sometimes we'll refer to it as the still small voice, that, that inner voice that we have. And this type of thought can also be a part of our subconscious mind as well. A lot of times because of the other thoughts that are going on in our head, um, we're not always tuned in to our intuition and to our, our gut feelings and so um, it, it kind of gets drowned out by other things but it really is one of the most important um, communications systems that we have um, with the world, with others and with God. But the one I want to concentrate on the most because this is the one I think we, that gives us the most trouble and it's a third type of conscious thought and it's our mental chatter. Well, our mental chatter is a thought, it's just so random, it's so all over the place. And it's, it's constant, it can be annoying. Many times we don't know how to turn it off. It's those dialogues that we have in our head with ourselves, with people. Um, it's, it's very reactionary. It's kind of even like a little bit of a troublemaker. Because it's like it's always trying to start something in our head, you know, with, with ourselves and with other people. And it's also very, a lot of times it's very fear-based. It's very anxious. You know, there's, there's really not a lot of peace in it. It's just always trying to get us to react to things. And it kind of reminds me, and this is just what the Lord put in my heart. It's kind of like a frightened little child. Or a child who just wants a lot of attention. So one of the things I could relate this to was my little five-year-old grandson, who is as cute as he can be, but he just loves to be the center of attention. It's like he's the only child, and it's just always all eyes on him. And so he's so cute, so when he wants some attention, you know, the first thing he'll do is he'll just come up and he'll just stand there, you know, using his polite voice, and he'll just say, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and he'll just kind of go on, you know, keep, excuse me, until someone pays him attention. Or, you know, if he wants, if he's not getting it that way, then he might whine and he might start crying. And then, and then sometimes you'll just be sitting there and they'll just come pounce on you, just knock you over and just jump on you out of nowhere. And, of course, you know how annoying all these things can be. But, you know, because we're, I'm the, the grandma, you know, I'm going to react, you know, in a, in a calm manner to him. And, you know, so, you know, I'll just, you know, say something calmly to kind of quell um, whatever is going on, you know, quell this behavior. Well, in my quiet time, um, a lot of times when you're trying to, 
be still in the Lord. You know, that mental chatter just does not stop. And so on this particular day, I found myself saying to this kind of little mental chatter here on the shoulder, you know, trying to distract me with all kind of other thoughts. I, I saw my in my spirit, I just would say, um, in my inner voice, I would just say, quiet now quiet now and I, you know I was saying it from a place of love not agitation because whenever we get agitated what happens things just escalate and then you know everybody's just you know fluttered and frantic but but from a place of love like that this is this this inner child that is fearful and frantic and just wanting a lot of attention and just quieting it and and saying also during this time you know quiet now this is my quiet time this is my time with the Lord this is my time to to meditate on God to dwell in his presence without words without image and so just quiet now and it just brought a new dimension to my meditation time with the Lord and what was interesting I found that after my meditation time I extended it throughout my day so you know as I'm doing something else or was driving or whatever I continually um, heard myself saying no quiet now and not only that I was also talking to it with the scriptures so I would just say, no, quiet now, you know, you know, God said that he's, he'll never leave us or forsake us. Uh, or, you know, you know, quiet now, everything is working out for our highest good. And by approaching it in that, the calm way, in a loving way, and, and with the word of God, which is extremely important, I, I really sensed a real sense of freedom and a real sense of peace. And so I just want to encourage you, um, if you are new to Christian meditation or your regular meditation, um, you know, think about that and, and try it and see how that affects your practice. And if you would like any more uh, information about Christian meditation or meditation resources, please visit my website, thechristianmeditator.com.